New York, September 11, 2018. A day marked by history for different reasons, but on this day, another aviation event was unfolding. High above the bustling city of New York, Air India Flight 101, a Boeing 777-300ER, embarks on its second attempt to land at John F. Kennedy International Airport. Laden with 342 passengers and 15 crew members, the aircraft grapples with a series of daunting instrument failures after a grueling 14-hour journey from New Delhi. The scenario is fraught with tension, fuel levels dwindling, visibility near zero, and key navigation systems incapacitated. The fate of 357 souls hangs precariously in the hands of the captains. Will they be able to prevent another tragedy on this specific day? Let's find out. It's a balmy autumn evening at New Delhi's Indira Gandhi International Airport. Air India Flight 101, a seasoned Boeing 777 equipped with robust GE90 Wanda Fit B engines, is preparing for its transcontinental voyage to New York. This aircraft, a familiar figure in the sky since 2009, is poised to navigate the challenging polar route. This path, a tapestry of diverse landscapes, stretches across the territories of Pakistan, Russia, Finland, Greenland, and Canada, each region presenting its own unique flying conditions. In the cockpit, Captain Rustam Palia, an embodiment of experience and skill, takes the helm. Accompanying him are First Officer Captain Vikas, Commander Sushant Singh, and First Officer Captain D.S. Pati, each ready to contribute to the journey's success. However, the onset of their voyage is marked by an unexpected complication, the Auxiliary Power Unit, APU, a component that supplements the aircraft's power system, is found to be inoperative. The APU's role, primarily supportive in nature, involves providing auxiliary power to various aircraft systems when the main engines are idle. Its malfunction, while notable, is not deemed critical to the core operation of the flight. After a meticulous assessment, Captain Pallia and his team, leaning on their extensive experience and understanding of the aircraft's capabilities, make a decisive call. They will proceed with the flight. This choice, grounded in the crew's confidence in their aircraft and their own piloting prowess, sets the stage for a journey that will test their skills and resolve like never before. As Air India Flight 101 soared through the night sky, about 40 minutes after takeoff, the tranquility of the flight deck was pierced by an alarming notification. Two of the three radio altimeters, devices pivotal for precise altitude measurements, especially during critical phases of flight near the Earth's surface, had failed. This malfunction introduced a significant element of uncertainty, transforming a routine operation into a scenario fraught with risk. The aircraft, now navigating the vast and lonely expanse of the Atlantic Ocean, faced a further complication. The Traffic Collision Avoidance System, TCAS, an advanced electronic guardian designed to prevent mid-air collisions, suddenly ceased to function. This system, akin to a vigilant sentinel of the skies, uses intricate radar technology to detect potential collision threats, providing crucial instructions to pilots to avert impending dangers. Its failure not only heightened the risk of an in-flight encounter with other aircraft, but also signaled a potentially grave systemic issue within the aircraft's intricate web of electronics and sensors. This series of technical failures cast a shadow of doubt over the integrity of the aircraft's systems. The crew, seasoned and trained for contingencies, now found themselves in a rapidly escalating situation, far from the nearest land, and with limited options for immediate recourse. The malfunctioning equipment, essential for safe navigation and collision avoidance, posed a stark challenge. How to safely pilot a large passenger-laden aircraft across transatlantic skies with diminished navigational capabilities? This unexpected turn of events set the stage for a test of skill, judgment and teamwork as the crew prepared to confront the unfolding crisis with their collective expertise and resolve. As Air India Flight 101 approached New York's busy airspace, another huge challenge emerged, 
compounded by the unfavorable weather conditions shrouding the city. The aircraft, already grappling with equipment malfunctions, confronted its most critical obstacle yet, the failure of the instrument landing system, ILS. This system, a linchpin for precise landings, particularly in conditions of low visibility, was unable to lock onto the localizer signals. The localizer, a beacon of guidance, provides lateral direction to the runway, a necessity in the maze of cloudy skies and limited visibility. In an attempt to salvage the landing, the crew turned to LNAV, lateral navigation, and VNAV, vertical navigation approaches. These GPS-based systems, while sophisticated in their own right, offer less precision compared to the ILS. They are akin to navigating with a less detailed map, sufficient for general guidance but lacking the finesse required for intricate maneuvers. As the aircraft descended towards the runway, the realization dawned that the approach was untenable. The decision to execute a go-around, an emergency maneuver to abort the landing and ascend for another attempt, was swiftly made. This decision, while crucial for the safety of everyone on board, came with its own dire consequences. Each go-around maneuver significantly drains the aircraft's fuel reserves, and for Flight 101, already strained by the extended flight and previous issues, this meant a further depletion of their already limited fuel. This moment marked a pivotal point in their journey, a race against time and diminishing resources, with the safety of the passengers and crew hanging in the balance. The tension in the cockpit of Air India Flight 101 was mirror-red in the exchanges with air traffic control, captured in the recordings that later became a crucial part of the narrative. With each passing minute, the urgency in the pilots' voices grew more pronounced, a clear reflection of the dire situation unfolding thousands of feet above the ground. Fuel, the lifeblood of any aircraft in flight, was now critically low. The options for a safe landing were rapidly narrowing, like paths disappearing in a thickening fog. Newark Airport emerged as a beacon of hope in this high-stakes scenario. The airport reported a cloud ceiling of 400 feet, marginally better than the other options, but still below the ideal 600 feet required for a non-precision approach. This minimum altitude is crucial for pilots to establish visual contact with the runway and surroundings, a necessary condition for a safe landing when precision instruments are unavailable. In normal circumstances, a 400-foot ceiling would be considered less than optimal, but in the case of Flight 101, it was a glimmer of possibility in an otherwise bleak situation. The final approach of Air India Flight 101 was an ordeal steeped in tension and uncertainty. The aircraft, burdened by a symphony of malfunctioning instruments, found itself misaligned and hovering at an altitude that was far from ideal for landing. Captain Rustam Palia, with his hands firmly on the controls, was confronted with a rapidly evolving situation that required immediate and precise action. As the Boeing 777 descended through the dense cloud cover, a critical moment arrived at just 400 feet above the ground. It was here, in the thick of uncertainty, that the runway finally came into view, a sight that offered a fleeting sense of relief amidst the chaos. Captain Palia, drawing upon his extensive experience and skill, executed a series of swift, calculated maneuvers to realign the aircraft with the runway. Finally, the aircraft's tires kissed the tarmac, marking the end of a journey that was anything but ordinary. The landing, while successful, was a nerve-wracking experience for all aboard. After the incident, a thorough investigation began, but despite extensive analysis, the reason behind the series of problems that haunted Flight 101 remained a secret. The investigation uncovered multiple instrument failures, but without an official incident report from Air India, the true cause remains a mystery.